Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, note taking generally. Uh, so when you're taking notes, I think it's a really useful exercise to consider why you're taking those notes, uh, what the purpose is. Are you doing it um, for understanding? Are you doing it to learn a skill like uh, to learn about software or to learn how to do digital marketing? Um, are you doing it to improve something? So for example, a process uh, in a company um, are you doing it because you think that you might, uh, uh, it might be a useful piece of information to have in a book or paper um, that you might write in the future? Um, are you doing it for an exam? Uh, so I think once you have a good uh, understanding of why uh, you're taking the notes, you can be much more effective and focused uh, in your note taking. And it can also guide you in terms of figuring out how you should be taking the notes uh, generally too. Uh, the other thing as well is that um, despite Rome sort of um, um, mirroring how our uh, brain works uh, and the you know, linkages between um, the neurons, uh, which is kind of what bilinking is about, uh, it doesn't necessarily um, come to us intuitively. If you've, especially if you've been working with a system uh, or software like Evernote and Workflow for a long time, uh, you're now um, sort of forced to think about how to structure uh, the information and how to relate that information. So uh, considering that, I think it's a good idea just to keep top of mind um, some questions to ask yourself. Uh, so considering, so when you're inputting new information, I think just having top of mind you know, questions like, how does uh, this information sort of relate to what I already know? Does it contradict the information that I know <clears throat> and have maybe on Rome? Uh, does, it, um, does, it, uh, does it help me to uh, come up with new ideas? Are there similarities? Are there differences? Do they, um, uh, what would it mean for the information that I already have? Uh, so stuff like that. And I think that once, uh, and also what's not there, uh, is there any information that um, in whatever it is that you're sort of considering, is there something that's missing there? So I think these are things that can really sort of, uh, when you're thinking about structuring the information and also linking uh, information within Rome, I think it's good to think about these things so that, um, so that you are uh, not just sort of mindlessly uh, putting information in, but that you're um, relating and linking information and thinking critically about, uh, the, that, uh, about any new information that you put in.